Hey guys, I was tagged by Libra Kitten 16. All right, I have 30 questions, so I don't know how long this is gonna take, so let's start. What foundation do you use? I use, my everyday foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Active. I use this every day, but um, depending if I'm going somewhere special, um, I use either the Neutrogena one, which I've been using just for a little bit. I think it's been almost three weeks. For two weeks yeah but um the one that my husband seems to always uh give me compliments on would be this one the photo revlon photo ready yeah my husband loves that one on me that's the only one he ever notices on me um how about concealer revlon again i'm loving the age to find one this one i have two of them and this one i like it because in these dry months it really works on me and it, and it they don't it doesn't crinkle up at all uh, do you know your undertone? I have a yellow undertone. Almost jaundice, I should say. <laughs> yellow. What do you think of fake eyelashes? I like them. I, I do. I like them. I like using them. But I don't use them every day. I can't be bothered with that. Using that every day? No. Um, do you know... Do you know that you need... You're supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes. Um, what brand of mascara do you use? I have a, a private label mascara... I'm using a mascara right now that was sent to me by um, Bunny with Skates, which I'm loving. This one right here. And I have a Styly Style that I just got my hands on. And I like this one only because of the brush. It's a comb. And I like the comb. Gives me Tammy Faye um, eyelashes. I love that. Um, when I'm in the mood for that. Um, okay. Where was it? Where was it at? Uh, Sephora or Mac? two different um sephora and mac are two different animals i i mean sephora you can go in there and they sell different types of brands where mac just sells mac um i would have to pick sephora if i had to pick one because i have more of a choice uh do you have a mac pro card yes um and i have not renewed it i haven't paid the 35 dollars or 40 whatever it is now uh, what makeup tools do you use in makeup application? Um, I use sponges mostly. Um, I just got a new makeup brush, which I'm really enjoying. Foundation brush, this little corner one that I'm enjoying. Um, and then I have other, you know, brushes in here that I use. Um, but mostly it's, it's sponges or fingers, depending how much of a rush I'm in. Um, do you use makeup base primer for the eyes? Yes, I've had to switch over to the e.l.f. one. I know it doesn't work on a lot of people. and People say it's they don't like it because it creases on them. I've been using it all winter and I love it. Um, I can't use my Urban Decay or my MAC or my Georgiana because literally it was giving me chicken skin eyes. My eyes were all wrinkly and the, it, it was horrible. So now I pulled that one out that Wyler J Mac got me and I started to use it and I fell in love I ended up going back and buying like three more loving it for the face Todd Ullman Michael Michael Todd Michael Todd this one and Smashbox uh, what is your favorite eyeshadow color or shade I'm a neutral kind of girl. It's what I grab every day when I do my makeup. If I do my makeup every day, tonight I'm going out. So I did my face. Um, and I do color when I go out. Uh, you know, in the, mostly in the summer I do a lot more color. I don't know why, I just do. Do you use pencil or liquid liner? I like liquid liner and I like the pens. I don't know, it's just that it's easy. I pop it, whoop, and then I keep going. Um, I do have pencils and I like pencils too, but that's pretty much what I've been using lately. Um, how often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? Um, a lot. Because I'm trying to do that, the eyeliner pencil or, or the these, and somebody will, walk, you know, the kids will walk in or my husband, they'll ask me a question and I'm trying to concentrate on doing that and yeah, I end up poking my eye. Which ends up watering my eye because my eyes water very easily. And then, yeah. <coughs> what do you think of pigment eyeshadows? I love them. I have them. I love them. I, it's not an everyday thing. I can't use them every day. It's nuts. No. 
but um, I do like them. You know, if I'm going to go out and do something or I'll take a couple with me on vacation, I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, do you use mineral makeup? No. The oxide something and it gives me hives. And I'm not, I like the minute I put it on, I get hives. Um, what is your favorite lipstick? Revlon Almost Nude is my number one go-to lipstick. My lip gloss, again, would be Revlon, the new color burst one. It used to be gold foil in the old lipstick, um, lip glosses, but the new color burst one, this one, number 24, gold, um, is my favorite. What is your favorite blush to use? I am really loving my blushes that I got from Sleek. Really am loving that. I haven't put it down. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see, me see, me see. Here we go, here we go. Um, do you buy your makeup on eBay? Yes, my sleek makeup comes off of eBay. There's a young lady on there, and I bought all my stuff from her. Um, all the European like ones from her. I even got my lipstick and darling gosh from her. All brand new, all sealed. I've never had a problem. Knock on wood. Uh, do you like drugstore makeup? Love drugstore makeup. It's what I started with, and then I ended up doing high-end private label, and now I'm back to drugstore brand. Uh, do you go to o CCOs? Yes, I have three of them by me. I have one in Pennsylvania, one in upstate New York, and one down the shore. So, yeah, and they're about 40. Well, the two on the upstate New York and Pennsylvania are about 40 minutes away from me, and the one down the shore is like, I think maybe about an hour. Um, do you ever consider taking makeup classes? Yes, I do, and I get a lot of um, invitations for them uh, to do. Um, I'll take the ones that are free. <laughs> but they're never free because at the end of the class, they'll try to sell you something. Um, are you clumsy putting on makeup? I was in the beginning. Um, when I started to model and I started to do it, I remember it was not fun and you know compared to now where you have so many makeup tools you didn't have that that much back then so yeah um and back then hence you had to put your own makeup on yeah uh, name a makeup crime that you hate um okay and this one, I don't know if this is considered that, but I, I, I see this a lot. Women and young ladies that carry their full makeup bags with them will put their makeup on all over on top of their own makeup. So I'll see them in the bathroom. They're literally pulling out. They'll slap on the foundation on top of the makeup they already have on there, calling it refreshing it. And then they'll do everything all over again. So technically, you got two layers of foundation powder I've seen I've seen that a lot and where my I just stand there like yeah um <clears throat> that I I the most I remember when I used to come back from New York City after doing um doing a job in New York City I'd be on the bus coming home and I literally would have a tub of palms cream I would be taking off my makeup with tissues and everything else and literally people around me were redoing that were putting on their makeup on top of their makeup to refresh it and here I am taking off all everything I have because I, I look like I had tons of makeup on and I you know I had to hurry up and take it off because I had to hurry up and catch the bus to get back and so I would like to be yeah but I would see that all the time and to this day I still see that it's amazing amazing um, do you like colorful shades of makeup lipsticks eyeshadows yeah I do um, I do like them but I I live in a small town I'm a mom at my age I wear lots of neutrals it's just what it is um, but when I go on vacation I have I have fuchsia lipstick I have red lipstick you know I you know I put on some color for shadows that are age appropriate and that's what I do but yeah I do I, I like them which celebrity always has great makeup I'm not big into celebrities I really don't know um, I, I don't know I really don't know um, if you could leave the house just uh, my just using one makeup item what would it be what would you use uh, my eyebrow pencil 
I feel like I have no eyebrows. I honestly, honest, I don't know where it is right now, but I honestly don't feel my eyebrows because 80s, it was a very thin one, you know, so I would over tweeze them or hot wax them. Um, and then they got a little more bushy, then they went back to just putting the tail being totally, totally. And um, I've never shaved them because that, when I was younger, that was in, shaving them and then penciling them in, that was in, but I never did that, no. And then um, I used to go to Puerto Rico when I was young, um, like in the, you know, 80s. Um, and in Puerto Rico, they had the little shavers, which are now hot here, but we used to buy them over there in tons and then bring them back with us. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, I have a lot of very spots that have not grown back. Um, so definitely like to put in my eyebrows. <laughs> um, um, if, let me see, could you ever leave the house without, uh, without any makeup? Yes, and I have, I have. Uh, do you think you look good without any makeup? I mean, I, I think, I think I do. I think I'm okay. I'm a little blotchy, but you know. Um, in your opinion, what is the best makeup line? I don't know. I don't think there is a makeup line. I think that everything's perfect in or anything like that. Um, I like them all. I think it's, it's pick and choose what you like, I guess. I, I can't. That's not something, you know, I can't. Every line has something I don't like or, you know. So I, I, that's a hard one. What do you think of makeup? Ah, I love makeup. <laughs> I think makeup it's, is your face is a canvas and your makeup is your paint and go at it and enjoy it yeah so that was it guys that was my 30 uh question tag all right hope you enjoyed it i'll talk to you guys later bye